Either it's a 4.8 kilowatt solar rooftop system. The details are given on my blog, Electroblogotronics on Blogspot. The link is given below. For so for more details, you can go there. So I'm going to tell you about this Kritai system, which follows a gross metering process. In the picture, you can show that it's in a hospital having a rooftop. So it start with the metal structure. First, we do the welding. The dimension is like 25 by 4 meter. Sufficient for 16 panels. So after installing the PV, it looks like this in a very clean and systematic manner. It's installed. Now with the video, I'll tell you. Now after installing the PV, the PV is facing the south direction. You can see it's all neatly installed. So this structure contains two array. One array is having eight panels, and there are total of sixteen panels. So there are two arrays. You can see the first array. That's the first row, and this is the second array. So total of two and the structure is facing the south direction so it's in between the east and the west facing the south so there is a higher chance of means better solar absorption is there means it's idle so it's the south it's the north and that's how we place it and the elevation of the panel is 12 degree for Bangalore. This is a lightning arrester. You can see a 4 square mm copper wire going down or earthing in case of there is lightning to protect the PV system. So now let me show you the configuration of an individual panel, the rating. Okay. Okay, right here is one sticker. Oh god, my flashlight is on. So I'm having problem with the focus. Okay, now it's fine. Yeah, now you can see the, the open circuit voltage of an individual panel is 45.54 volt and the rated power is 300 watt. So P is equal to VI, the current is 15 amps. So this is the first array, two wires coming plus minus. I have do the done the labeling as to which wire is red and which is negative so there are two wires from this array and the same way there are different two wires from the other array which is going down now this, this was the pv structure after this i'm gonna tell you about how i've installed the inverters okay from here the wire is coming towards the inverter this is a grow watt 5 kilowatt inverter this is a dc box let this person open the box to explain it further so the four wires are coming towards this dc box there are two input and there are two outputs so this box works as an isolator yeah, working between the pv and the inverter so there are two input wire and the two input for the other array and after the input you have a thousand volt 32 amps dc fuse in case there is a short circuit it will protect the whole inverter system and after the dc fuse you have a surge arrester for better protection and then you have a dc mcb and after this both the positive and the negative wire goes towards the inverter from here as you can see the labeling the pipe goes here towards the inverter this is the first array and this is for this in the similar way two other wires coming from the second array to the inverter now you can see the two mppt labeling plus minus plus minus for the inverter this is the regulator now currently it's working so it is in the on mode this is the output of the ac so this meter has a inverter has a knocking option in order to turn on the LCD so I'll knock it tap it once now you can see the LCD is on so the PV voltage is 314 volt in each array and currently there is 0 kilowatt generated as because the system is not connected with the grid right now that is why the status is red means there is a fault it should be connected with the grid but I'll explain you further as to why this is happening so from here the AC wire goes to the AC box you can see the danger sign and there is a 63 amp MCB here you can see the RYB 4 core squ 4 square mm cable so from here the isolation of AC system takes place and you can see the green grounding wires so from here the 4 core 
wire goes to the distribution kilowatt meter panel that will be connected to the grid from here okay so this was our meter inverter in the boxes That's how it is all connected. Now let's check the voltage across each DC fuse coming out of the individual panel. It's like 319 volt. Let's check it for the another array. Okay. Okay. It's, uh, it's almost the same. Yeah, it's almost the same from the second array too. So it's all perfectly connected. So this was our system till the inverter. Now I'll further tell you about the gross metering system. How after this it is calibrated. So from the solar panel the output goes to the inverter. AC is converted to DC and then you have an export meter. The energy generated is directly supplied fuse injected into the common bus bar which is connected to the grid. At the same time you have an import meter that is connected with the grid and then it is connected to the load that is the house. So obviously the power will would be means if you are producing and exporting your bill will considerably be go, gone down so this was the system